I, I wanted to point out McIntyre because this announcement down here in Dallas, Texas could be coming his way. So those cheerleaders could be jacked up in a second? Damian Daniels, Damian Daniels. Will he head to see you, Luke? Two gapper. Yeah, two gapper, folks. This kid is a mammoth prospect along the defensive front. Could be an offensive guard prospect, First too. Off, I want to say thank you, God, for everything he's done for me. And every obstacle he's put in my way to make me a grown man, I am here today. <clears throat> and I want to thank you to my parents. Thank you for providing for me, because even though I didn't deserve it, I want to say thank you to my coaches for putting me in the great, this great position. Thank you for Ms. Daly and all her staff for being very patient with me for the last four years. And I want to say thank you to my brother and my sister for being my biggest fans. Also, I want to say thank you to my teammates. and everybody who attended every football game this year. This whole season was concentrating on trying to be a better leader and focusing on trying to be mature. With barely giving attention to my recruiting, I want to say thank you to all the schools who uh, gave me a scholarship and your hospitality did not go unnoticed. The three schools I've taken official visit to was Nebraska, UTSA, and Colorado. Those were the ones who, who kept uh, talking to me even when I didn't want to speak to them, and I say thank you for that. But today I have come before you to let you know that this process wasn't simple. And it took a whole lot of research and long conversations with my family. We personally feel the best place for me to grow as a man of God, grow into a better athlete, and to provide me a better future for me. be the University of Nebraska. <laughs> Daniels, Damian Daniels commits to play for Mike Riley and Nebraska, one of the top defensive tackles in this class of 2017. Damian, can you hear me? Damien, can you hear us here? You? It's Joe Tessitore at ESPN. Congratulations yes, on choosing Nebraska. And let me just say this before we go further here, Damien, because just hearing you there, you're an outstanding young man. And I will tell you that the two pillars of a successful man are humility and gratitude. And you just showed both of those with great extreme quantity there. And you're about to now play for a head coach who aligns with that. How important was it, Coach Riley and that staff there in Nebraska in making this decision? Well, it was really simple and it was really, it was really hard because like they have a great coaching staff and hospitality they show and like I know I'll be successful at Nebraska and they'll get me to the next level. What was it that made you know this was the right choice? Right, probably when I went there and um, everything, like the coaches, the environment, the community, and just the way the players reenacted with me. If you, had to, if you had to tell the Cornhuskers fans what they're in store for, give us a little scouting report on what you offer up. I got the size and I guess always room for improvement, but I just can't wait to get up there. Congratulations. We wish you much success. And Lugs, he does have size at 6'2", <laughs> 310 pounds. And as we've said a few times already today, some of these moments you see and how emotional and expressive and the thankfulness of the moment. Awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. Doing and, it. I feel like we're getting better. Man, I feel like we've gotten better as the years have I gone agree. on. Well, they've only been instructed heavily on our end. So yeah, but, but, if it but, goes wrong, you still awry. have to understand it. Listen, <laughs> yeah. you still have to right. understand when that moment comes of yeah. who you're thinking and how Absolutely. you feel. Absolutely. They recognize you don't get there by yourself. It right. is the coaching. It is the parental leadership. It is a little, lot of things you, you owe that at that point. And then you're going to take your talents and your opportunity to go forward and, and improve those talents. And people don't understand how difficult that is, too, as a high school kid. Like, we have it. 
this is what we've done, right. and we, we have experience doing this, and this is when we've had so many reps where we've messed it up over and over again. A lot of these guys, this is, they've never stood in front of answered questions. Never seen that light go and, on before. And how to give a prepared speech yourself. So let's hear another one. Yep, so this is Chevin Calloway. And I want to thank God for guiding me through this recruiting process. Just being rewarded for all the hard work and sacrifices is a tremendous blessing to me. I want to thank my family for supporting and helping me to get to this point. I want to thank all of my teammates, my brothers, all the coaches here, especially Coach Williams, for helping me to develop me, not only as a football player, but as a person. Being a part of the Bishop Dunn family has truly been a blessing. So thank you, Ms. Daly, for just accepting me into this school. Last but not least, I want to thank all of the schools that have given me an opportunity to learn about their program. There were overwhelming times throughout this process, but with much research and prayer, I believe that God has revealed the school that will be the best fit for me as a player and person with the great coaches. Also set me up for life after football with the great connections and networking. I plan on making a difference in balling early, leaving my mark on the field and being the dog on the field. With this being said, I'm coming home. I'll be attending the University of Arkansas, UPSC. Yeah. Chevin Callaway announcing that he will go on to play for Arkansas. Chevin Callaway is the number 11 cornerback. First off, congratulations. How do you feel right now? A little relieved? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely relieved. Uh, this is like a weight on my shoulders, but I feel like it's off right now. It's not overwhelming anymore, and uh, I'm just happy to be committed. Secondly, how's your pig suey? Have you practiced? I practice a little bit. I think Coach Hargraves taught me a little bit when I was down there. <laughs> He's a good one to learn from, indeed. <laughs> what is it oh, about yes, the Hogs and Brett Bielema and where that program is headed that attracted you? Oh, just the way Coach Bielema is as a coach. You know, he cared more about you, not just as a player, but as a person, uh, like I was saying in the speech. And also, I, can, I believe I can get down there, and, uh, definitely make a difference uh, and change the energy around Arkansas and uh, start that DBU there. Well, congratulations, and get used to this. Woo pick. Callaway is going to play yes, for the Razorbacks. Congratulations. And, and let me just say this. I know we were raving about Damian Daniels. How about Whoever, that? Whoever's down there at Bishop Dunn that's coaching these kids, that's in the administration, that's working in the guidance counselors and throughout the school, well done. Wonderful job. Both kids down there at Bishop Dunn were just spectacular to deal with. Hey, this was the top uncommitted cornerback in this class and he's going off to play with Big Brett. Pretty good for Bielema in Arkansas. They, they need a lot of help at the skill positions. One of the things I was going to say, too, Dave, you brought this up earlier. This is the biggest and most difficult decision these young men have had to make at this point in their life. Right. And it really is the first time they've got to step out and say, okay, I'm not just going to this high school. I'm going away maybe to college uh -huh. to where I'm going to be away from my family, and I have to trust the people. And obviously, Coach Bielema and his staff did a great job of impressing It's me. hard. I mean, it's really hard. And also, you're used to answering questions about your team and yourself, you're not used to stepping up there and answer or giving a speech. And it, it literally is, your throat gets a little dry and you're like, goodness gracious. So both of them conducted themselves well. Both of them and a lot of the kids that have come on too understand that it, it wasn't them that got them there. Yeah. Their parents helped them, their coaches helped them. And so it's been fun. How was he with you when he was down in Florida? Awesome. Uh, it, well, he interacts so well with people. And you can tell by the way he carries himself that he's an outgoing guy. He's a confident guy. But I think it's also very, very calculated. He's a very thoughtful young man. Uh, you know, the thing that, that stands out about this is if you play corner, you better be confident. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. exactly right. You bet, and you better have a short memory. That, that, that is for sure. And if, you, if you're going to be Arkansas right now, you need defensive help. This is a very offensive-laden class, very impressive players within this Arkansas class. So good to see the defensive side addressed. One point to add with these guys, you've got to understand that throughout the last two years of their recruitment, they control the process. They hold all the cards. They hold all the leverage. The reality and the magnitude of this situation of that coming to an end is starting to sink in. And to your point, the voice starts to crack a little bit. All of a sudden, it's real. And, Coach, you and I have talked about this before. It's hard to say no.
You only get to say yes to one. It is, and every single coach wants to put you in that position where right. you cannot say no to me. Come on, I'm your friend. I've been recruiting you for three or four years. You know me. I know right. your family. It's really, really difficult. That was difficult. the worst calls that my dad ever made me make in my life. Was, was to it? Tell all I mean, you they they got to do it. He told me to call. All, he made it. me call all my coaches that recruited me and tell them that I wasn't coming, and I literally was miserable. I remember old Jim Sweeney on the phone <laughs> literally ripping me, and I have the phone here, and my dad's standing, <laughs> my dad's standing at the other end, and I'm like, yeah, come see? On. Coach Sweeney Coach ripping Sweeney? somebody I can't believe. Oh, you can't Is imagine, this what you wanted right? me to do, Dad? Yeah, Thanks. Exactly. Thanks, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> uh, that's, a good, that's a good get right there for Arkansas. As you see, they have hauled in a top cornerback from Texas. Uh, they did well with the JCs as well. They got the number one receiver. Mar they got oh, Brandon Martin's one. a big time player they, test. They got the, the number one tight end in Patton, who's a kid that they've tight really ends. They, they always get tight ends. Yep, yep. That's what they do. So they're, they're very good at yep, that. They're very, very good at that. And they use them. Where's the big the boys? Let's check in with Clint Sterner. Clint, what's your read here? <laughs> That's, That's right, guy. fellas. I'm, I'm here with Coach Bielema, the head hog coach. You heard him. Yeah. He's coming home. Yeah, it was a good uh, reference. He's got some family from Arkansas, from the Little Rock area that now live down there in Dallas. But uh, a great kid. Been on him a long time. Another example, you know, this is our fourth year. We've known about him ever since he came to high school. I believe offered him late his sophomore year and just kept staying true to who he was, who we were, and it eventually worked out, obviously. You, you talk a lot about character here at the university. Yeah. Coach Vernon Hargraves was, was on him. He was, he was recruited. He has a son in the NFL that had to play a big part. Obviously, your high character demands. What does he bring to the table in that in that category? Well, first, Chevin is a great kid, as you witnessed. Uh, his demeanor, his personality, his professionalism, uh, his maturity, uh, off the charts. And then on the field, he's a very talented. He's been the number one corner on our board for a long time. I got it. We feel really uh, strongly about uh, being able to possibly come in and compete right away. And uh, it, it'll obviously prove out in the, in the pudding here, but uh, a kid that really stands for everything that we want here at Arkansas. You heard it, guys. Big time sign for Arkansas. Looking forward to seeing a ton of play from Chevin Callaway in the future in Fayetteville. Good score for Arkansas. So we've been talking about a lot of the top 10 classes. We had mentioned that Texas A&M started the